Hey friends! So today we'll be going over some new tips for how to win the new multiplayer mode in Mario Kart Tour. There are quite a few tips so I'll put headers above each one. Let's get started! So let's start off by picking our driver. Firstly, I'd recommend picking a top tier driver if given the option because you want as many items as possible. However, if you can, I highly recommend picking a small or medium driver. The reason this will matter is if you have a large heavy driver such as Dry Bowser, He's going to take a really long time to speed up after being hit by an item. But if you have a small, lightweight driver such as Baby Rosalina, she's able to speed up much more quickly. So especially on days where everyone gets two items, I highly recommend picking a small to medium driver. Todet is one of my go-tos. You also want to try to pick a cart with good acceleration. You kind of have to figure out for yourself which carts have good acceleration by playing through the races with them and seeing which ones can speed up the quickest after being hit by an item. And in multiplayer mode, you get hit a lot, so your acceleration really matters. Some of the carts that I've found have really good acceleration are the Day Tripper, the Super Blooper, the Bullet Blaster, and the Turbo Yoshi. Those all can speed up pretty fast. An absolute super combo I discovered recently was Baby Driver and the Bitty Buggy. The Bitty Buggy paired with any small driver can speed up super fast, so I highly recommend. Now let's get to our actual racing. The best tip I have for you is to take as tight and as sharp of turns as possible. Whether you drift or not, if you can get the inside out of your opponent in a turn, it can really help you get ahead. One of the things I recommend to help you get the most out of your turns is gyro handling. You can change this in your app settings and what it does is it allows you to turn by tilting your phone instead of the traditional slide steering method. I like gyro handling the best because I feel like it gives you a lot more control once you get the hang of it. The biggest difficulty in multiplayer mode is that you're constantly being threatened by items that really slow you down. No matter how well you race, these items can make you lose. So here are some tips that I have on trying to avoid getting hit. So the first tip I have is try to hold on to protective items. By protective items, I mean shells, bob bombs, bananas, anything that can stay on the back of your cart and protect you if you get hit by a shell or another item. As you're holding on to your protective item, you also want to keep an eye out for any bananas or shells that you can possibly avoid. This includes on the back of your opponent's cart. You want to try to get as far away from it as possible if you see it. Even if it means taking a slightly different route than you're planning, it's worth it if you can avoid the banana peels. If you accidentally hit one, it will really slow you down. Also, if you're in the middle of a pack like this, you're a lot more likely to be hit. So if you wind up having a mushroom that you can use, I would recommend going ahead and using it as early as possible to get ahead of the pack. Another way you can avoid being hit is by sticking to the sides of the path, or just taking a path that most other players don't take. If you keep your distance from the other players, you're much safer and might just get ahead. Alright, the final tip I have is to cut corners and or use shortcuts. You can cut corners in Mario Kart Tour by using a mushroom to get slightly more of the inside off of a turn than you normally would, like I'm doing with this clip here. Also, shortcuts are super helpful. These next clips are some of my favorite shortcuts, and I'm linking many more from my channel at the end of this video. Yeah. 